you know, it is uh, sometimes such a shame to witness how young and promising teachers um, gradually but fast degrade and burn out working with young children only uh, and lose their professional skills uh, providing that they used to have what to lose. Uh, no surprise, to teach the ABC from year to year it is the dead end for professional career. But of course working with kids is enjoyable and really pleasant and useful. Um, today I was given a class to a group of kids of about 12 years old and we encountered a new word, advertisement. Uh, I wrote it on the whiteboard and uh, the expression of their face, uh, their reaction was like uh, such a long and complicated uh, the new word was. Um, of course I explained to them that it could be shortened to just advert or add, but I insisted that they should learn the full form as well. When we were students at university we used to moonlight, translate and tablet opuses, uh, which were then sold uh, on the bookshelves uh, near the underground stations, you know. Uh, it was done like this. Uh, you read 10 or 15 pages of this stuff and make uh, more or less decent presentations of what you've read. The editors were delighted. The translations were much better than the originals. The only criticism uh, we ever heard from the editors in charge of post-production was don't use long words, it scares the readers away. You know, there is a mental disease called fear of long words. In English, hippopotamonstrous esquipedaleophobia. Here is the transcription, if it makes you feel better. Hippopotamonstrous esquipedaleophobia. Uh, before you learn complex words, it's a good idea to dig into the rules of reading. I wrote this transcription following these rules. Voila! In the phonetic course of the new forward language school, you will learn to read and pronounce any word correctly, even an absolute new one uh, that you've never heard before. People suffering from hippopotamostrous esquipedaleophobia tend to experience a great deal of anxiety when faced with long words. It is indeed ironical that the scientific name given to this phobia is such a long one. Uh, hippopotamostrous esquipedaleophobia can actually be broken down into several parts. Hippo is horse in Greek and portalus is river. Thus, the first part of the word refers to a water horse. Um, also otherwise known as uh, hippopotamus. The Oxford Dictionary uses the word hippopotamine to refer to something very large. The word monster is the Latin origin of monstrous being or something that is uh, huge or terrifying and uh, sesquipedalio is derived from Latin sesquipedali a meaning measuring a foot and a half long. Phobo stands for morbid fear. Uh, most specific phobias, including the fear of long words phobia, are caused by an event that is recorded by parts of the brain, namely mm, the uh, amygdala and hippocampus, recorded as dangerous and deadly. The body then reacts uh, as if the same event is bound to happen repeatedly. A person with severe hippopotamonstrous esquipedalophobia is literally held a prisoner by his feelings of anxiety and panic he experiences at the thought or sight of long words. 
Uh, school going children, or in some cases uh, working adults, might have experienced being laughed at or having been embarrassed uh, or found themselves uh, shaking, trembling when reading or pronouncing long words. The mind then continues to create uh, this same response without any basis. For a person suffering from hypopotomostros escopedalophobia, the mind develops negative images, bad movie-like stills as the thought or sight of long words. The good news is that hypopotomostros escopedalophobia can be overcome. The solution is to mainly recall and evaluate the factors that have led to the phobia in the first place. Therapists can also help evaluate these factors to come up with a treatment plan. The individual is then encouraged to expose herself to long words gradually, beginning with uh, just seeing the word, then progressing to thinking about long words and finally saying them. Such gradual exposure helps lessen the panic until the individual is completely comfortable and can face long words confidently. And there is no need to be afraid when the teacher uh, explains complex grammar or phonetics to you in English. Yes, there are a lot of complicated long words in such explanations. Let's remember two signs that immediately reveal fake teachers. Sure enough, uh, they say something in English and translate it to you themselves afterwards. This leads to the situation where students gradually um, ignore incomprehensible speech and wait for translation. Secondly, they usually speak in your native tongue, periodically uh, interspersing it with English words or phrases for some, again, uh, cheap show-offs. Either the explanation is completely in English at a higher level or in your native tongue at the beginning level. And already at the early stage we must gradually take up these complex words like comprehension, vocabulary, conversation, uh, affirmative, adjective, opinion exchange and so on. Now, the best way to get rid of uh, the fear of long, abstruse words and complex concepts is to start exploring them, which is what we do at the Profound English course at New Forward Language School from the initial levels onwards. And by doing so, we get to know ourselves better and our weaknesses and phobias too, which is essential, right? What seems to be the matter? Doctor, I'm afraid of long words. Hm. You must have... Hippopotamonstrous esquipitalophobia. Ah! <laughs> Gonna keep on walking for